Theme song. Welcome back, Nungas. Hey, Nunga, Nunga, Italiano. Yeah, like Nunga. What's up, my Nunga? Like, is that what that is? Like, if it's, you know, if it's an Aboriginal term of, I think it's like a tribe name. So it's like, oh, we're the Nunga. Oh, okay, cool. What up, Nungas? Yeah, so I don't think you're allowed to just turn a tribe name into a swear. Like, was that like a process? Can I turn a swear Cause imagine, into a tribe Well, yeah, like, yeah, I'm the Brisbane fuck nuggets. Like, what if I just managed to get Aaron declared a swear word? <laughs> Which I desperately want to now. <laughs> I've got a burning sensation at the tip of me, Aaron. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> so just waking Aaron. up, your name is now a swear. Yeah, I know. I it's like when I fucking had to find out that my name's like Mexican. I just thought it was an archaic white name, and in a way it is, but How's it's it Mexican. A, well, like fucking Latinos went ape shit with Gabriel. They were uh -huh. like, oh, fucking every third person. It's like fucking John there. So like. Now, you know, I'm, I'm wandering around basically called Juan, you know, like I've got a Mexican name except I'm not, I'm white. Juan. Yeah, and that's going to be weird. Like if I ever go to like Southern California or something, I'll be like, oh, you know, going to meet Gabriel. It's like, oh, okay, cool. I'm expecting a Mexican. And then I show up looking like the ghost of a potato. And <laughs> I made myself laugh at that one. And fucking, you know, just ruin everything. I've ruined everyone's day. Some casting director is going to be looking for like, It'll be me and Hector, you know, and we'll be playing like Cholo thugs and they'll just be Hector being Hector and then like Gabriel. Here's my cousin Gabriel. Uh, hello! I'm white. Yeah. Tricked y'all. In Australia, Mexicans are white. It's like upside down down there. Hmm. That's... And like instead of stealing cars, we, re we put them back. Yeah, we replace cars. Yeah. Sometimes we have to take the cars we replace from other people though. It's a, it's a complex it's system. It's just cycle, really. Yeah, I know. I replaced the car that we borrowed from you to replace another car yesterday with a car that I borrowed today. It's kind of like Judge Judy. Yeah, well, basically, it's it's kind of like a, you know, a ride-sharing system where we all just share, like, a pool of cars and white Australian Mexicans are the conduit of these things. You know, we're kind of like fucking blood cells taking iron to various parts of the Australian body. You know? And I am Gabriel Jesus Ortega Morton. Which, again, like, my, my, my middle name is Pascal as well, which is that tickles me. also fairly fucking, I, I, you know, es, you know, there's, like, Pedro Pascal, and he's, like, I think Spanish, which is, like, Euro-Mexican. See, to me, like, at school, we had to learn Pascal, the coding language, <laughs> so, just, I'm just like, was your dad really into coding? Like, apparently it means, like, born on Easter, because I was born on Easter. Ah. Which is also why my parents weren't like turbo religious. I was born otherwise. on Easter, but they just like gave me the middle name Lee because I guess my dad really liked Bruce Lee. <laughs> I didn't know your middle name was Lee. Yeah, uh, L E E, not L I. So, it's weird that Lee is Asian and white at the same time. Yeah, like that's strange. Because this dude's called Lee. Yeah, like as a first name. Yeah, well, that's usually L E I G H. Yeah. Fucking. What's this signpost say? Where I gotta go? It's, what, it's like, we share a birthday with Alec Baldwin. Do we? Yeah, and Eddie Murphy, apparently. Oh, cool. So that's, you know, celebrate our birthday by swearing at our daughters and picking up some transgender prostitutes. Excellent! That's a good, that's a good way to do it. That's a good and birthday. then, like, Alec Baldwin and Eddie Murphy can record audio over video game commentary. Fuck yeah. Yeah. You know, they, um... They swapsies. It was Tim freaky was Friday driving the him. other day, and they had all the fucking roads drove off, closed off because of the motorcades for the royal fucking the royals are here at. The oh moment. yeah, I forgot about that. And I'm like, I should challenge they, Prince Charles to formal to combat. Us. Yeah, and I'm like, you reckon they'd come and like play play games with us? Fucking, I should invite them. Keep it classy, royal fucking approved. Yeah, royal approved. Yeah, I think like Harry, Harry would be game. up for it. Yeah, He's he strikes into, me as game. He's big into third strike. I would fucking love to hear. I would love to find that out. I'd, I, I like would. he has he has a serviceable necro. He's got an like, arcade cabinet as well. He's got a fucking OG cab. He's got his own arcade, complete with people he pays to be in there, like the old <laughs> days. Like fucking. Oh fuck yeah, elbow pad. Oh, finally, you can take it off through the people's elbow. Full elbow pad run. That's a joke in Secret of Mana where you just buy it like. You, you got to use the elbow pad the whole game. You See, I replace anything else, but you just got to use the elbow pad. The thing is, I believe you at this point. No, it's true. Like, no, really. A lot of people do elbow pad rads. Yeah. 
Are you fucking with me? No, I'm not. No, really. No, I'm not really fucking you. It's true. It's a thing. Uh, I don't <laughs> understand this world anymore. <laughs> if you're not paying full attention to an MLK speech, it really sounds like somebody racist is talking. And that's only because, you know, it's like from the 60s and shit. So he doesn't say like people of color mm. or like he was like several euphemisms ago. Like it wasn't really a euphemism. It just says Negro. Like the Negro people. And that's fine because I said that that's the term. Like it's like, you know, Caucasian is like Negro. And like there is also Negroid, but nobody likes that. Yeah. Nobody likes the oid suffix. Oid does sound oid. dirty. You know, it just, it, it sounds like I'm oid. studying you and you're in a jar, basically. Like humanoid is barely tolerated. I don't think anybody would like Negroid. Not really Caucasoid. Asioid. Asioid. Whiteoid. Like, I'm just not entirely sure what it is with Caucasian. But I, like, and he's got like this, you know, he's, he's, because his dialect's like Southern and shit. So he doesn't say, he doesn't like, you know, when I say Negro, I'll say knee, N-E, you know? Yeah. But he just says Negro, which again, like, cause I had something running in the background and I'd clicked on something on Twitter. So it was like, oh, it was Martin Luther King talking. That's nice. And I kind of like spaced out and you know, was doing something else, and then I've forgotten that was going, unplugged my fucking, you know, headphones, and then it just pops into the remain speakers of just the Negro, and it just, for a fucking heartbeat, I'm just like, oh, when did I click on a racist? Because it just sounds like he's about to say the Negro can't, like, be trusted around white women. Yeah, yeah. And it's just from that pronunciation of Negro, where it's just Negro, and it's just like, uh. Because I've, you know, there's, like, people who gave speeches back then about, like, not civil rights. Mm. Which, <laughs> the weird thing is, a lot of the, those dudes have weirdly high pitched voices. You it's know, always, yeah. like they got that kind of shrieking hillbilly Beavis thing. It's kind of like a like a white version of Be Real from Cypress Hill, where it's just very nasal and up here, and it's just a Negro, and it's, it's such a weird fucking voice. Yeah. It's just them usually talking about like the shape of the Negro skull, <laughs> which that's, okay. um, it's a uh, sent. Yeah, uh, it's a sentence. It's weird dealing with people like that, like in person. I just I'll never forget. Fucking, I was one of the stupider jobs I've ever had was like setting up and taking apart like the market stalls, which is it's just it's purely Sisyphean. You do one piece of work at the start of the day that sucks and then one piece of work at the end of the day that sucks and they both work against each other and they both suck and while I'm setting up a fucking you know tent for someone to sell their fucking artisanal berries or whatever the shit the dude I'm setting it up with this is just a pause you know and we're not really talking we're not chatting every now and then we'll talk but we're not having there's no flow to the conversation yeah there's just big gaps every now and again and then just a sentence exactly this, you know, Gabriel. Oh, what, I think. I'm becoming quite racist. Fucking and, excuse me? Yeah, like, that's the best part, is, like, I've never... Because I've had people say lots and lots and lots of racist shit at me. Like, for a while, I think I had one of those faces that just t said to other people on the train, sit next to this person and tell them what you think of Asians. Uh, I've had... I've had people complain about Asians to me on buses and trains as well. I know, it's like fucking surreal, but like, you know, they didn't sit down and go, hello, would you like to hear racism? Like, they just sat down and started complaining about like, fucking- Fucking, these chinks are taking like all our seats, man. I'm just like, nips. what? Like, cause they just sit down and like, they just say it, they don't announce that they're racist. No. So already this declaration, like, like just I'm not racist yet, but I'm just becoming quite I'm racist. Becoming quite racist. Yeah, like quite, Compared to what? You know, like, what's center here? You know, do we have a true north? Because, like, one person's quite racist can be very different to another person's quite racist. Yeah. Like, quite itself is not a very good explainer of where we are. I am becoming quite, quite racist. Becoming overwhelmingly racist. Yeah, like... <laughs> I'm becoming overwhelmingly racist! <laughs> I'm racist! <laughs> and just... You know, again, like, because normally when people sit down and tell you their weird fucking theories about gooks, you just gotta go down, like, down that stair. Where are you gotta go? Guys, navel? Guys down there. Navel. Down those stairs. Ah, uh, I gotta go around. I went the this wrong way. This is just where you went. 
Yeah, I know, and I went the wrong way. Fucking bumble. You know, there's like, it's almost self-awareness, but like, not. So you're in this kind of weird dimension where I just don't know how to approach these situations. It's, uh... Like, what am I supposed to say to that? Do, you, do I have like a fucking coming out party for you? You know? Congratulations, you're a racist. Yeah, congratulations on racism! Like... Like, cause generally you gotta go where the enemy that you haven't killed is yet, and there's a bunch of those little fellas down there. They seem to be having a, a whale of a time. Look at them. I just don't know how to get down get there. Get up, go up in there, see so what happens. I like the way the water drag. Yeah, look, there's guys. Look, you got Yo. fellas. You got Wilfred Brimbies. Yay, Wilfred. Don't meaty them! Doesn't it's work. It's just a reaction, dude. Like, it's fucking built in from all the other enemies. It really is, isn't it? Because you're like, you just it's stop bullshit, attacking. you can't. Yeah, I, I don't understand, like, why do I have to let the fucking Wilfred Brimbies get up? You can see it now, can't you? The little mustache yeah, flopping around. It's fucking... It's ruined these bees forever for me. You've been poisoned by Wilfred Brimley. That... Yeah, is a little known fact. He had, like, type 4 diabetes, <laughs> which was communicable via bite. And <laughs> that was why he had to keep jelly beans on him all the time, because if he got, like, hypoglycemic, he'd go feral. I believe that. Yeah, and it was really hard to stop a feral Wilfred Brimby. Get up, bitch. I can knock you down again. Yeah, your bones. Going in this cave. Oh, oh fucking Zubats, Brimby. where's my rappel? Always the Zubats. Zubat! Just imagine a Zubat with like fucking Steve Buscemi's face on it. Flying at me. I love these little sleepy goblins. I like the happy slime. I fucking hate those slimes, dude. Hello, hello. Because they avoid every fucking, like, one of your hits. And this they, was an interesting game, because was this like the first one to do fucking, like, action? In terms uh, of, like, how you, I like, attack each other? I think so, yeah. Yeah, this is annoying. Yeah, these are, these things are cunts, because... They multiply? They just multiply upon multiply. It's good grinding EXP off them, though. Gotta grind the EXP. I've actually installed a mod, um... Someone made a ROM hack to make it a bit more streamlined. Um, because the original version of this, you have to grind the shit out of it. They it's fucking, like, both multiplied at once. Ah! No! There's three of them now. Is there, like, a limit? No. Can this just be all green drops? Yep. That's not okay. Ah, uh, fucking... Alright, I see the point about, like, fucking... Yeah, I gen generally, I'm not... I'm not it's, a fan of that design. <laughs> like, it should be a finite limit. Five splits. I feel like, yeah, they should have fucking... You know, I'm, I, I'm very supportive of the idea of enemies in games having their own MP and bullets and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, like... Oh, fuck. No, no! <laughs> oh, balloon is the worst. You can't do anything. You literally sit here until it goes away. <laughs> and there's... there's, there's some, <laughs> yeah, there's some points in the game where... Shit, Pass I need balloon. to get out now. Yeah, if too many bats show up in an area and you get a bad roll, they will keep ballooning you. And you can't do anything. <laughs> Design masterpiece. Uh-oh. No, daddy! This has gave me the idea of getting like a kind of large enough helium balloon and just sticking it to toddlers at the mall. <laughs> right. Cause I reckon like how big, you know, a toddler's about like, you know, not even 30 kilo really, like somewhere, uh, maybe not a toddler, like someone who's like seven or eight, a little shit. No, a toddler. Fuck it. Away! Alright, fucking slime cunt. Up, up, and away! Hey! It was nap time! It's a tough thing, like, you know, any kind of, uh, lord. And it's big, when they do the split, they're invincible as well, in animation. You should be able to, like, interrupt it and stop it. Like, there needs to be... Something to prevent this. This is ridiculous. See, because they that hop is is a yeah an evasion. Evasion. Hey. hey! No running from me. Like the fucking chest opening thing is always something that's bugged me. Why? Well, cause just open like it's so it's such a long animation of fucking around. Oh yeah, yeah. They walk on the water. All right, look, I think you just gotta try and navigate your way past them. Probably heal yourself because things are looking a bit grim. Like, that is so annoying. 
There is no escape from the green. You just gotta hopefully that they line up and you can. I'm going, baby. I'd yeah, I'd fucking. I've also got a mod uh, ROM hack installed that allows you to carry nine of each item. Um, because in the original you can only carry four of each item. That seems that, low. That was yeah, that's super low. In Secret of Mana three, um, which was the one that never got a fucking English translation, they had nine in all the item limits. <laughs> Yeah. Is there a fucking, you know, translation? There's a fan translation yeah. of it, yeah. I think they fucking have to be, like... Oh, yeah, dude. It's... it's, it's Kudos funny. to you people who do that shit, too. Like, I, I think that's a legitimately very, very good thing it's that it's done. Dude. Yeah. No one would have played these games outside of Japan otherwise. And again, like, translating art and making it available for other audiences when the creators almost go out of their way to not give a shit is... Well, the is, creators is go out of the way to give you mobile ports on PC. Chrono Trigger looking at you. Oh, yeah. Like, fucking, how hard is it to fucking dress up a ROM in an emulation package and sell it on Steam? Ask, Apparently very fucking hard. Ask the Bubsy people. Yeah. <laughs> Someone on Twitter last night said, how come Spyro is getting a remaster when the real hero, Bubsy 3D, is not? And I'm just like, don't fucking say that. There already is one, though. We played it. I mean, yeah. it's not 3D, but so fucking what? But, dude, did you ever play Bubsy 3D? Oh yeah, later in life. Like, I didn't Ugh. play it when it was like at its time, but I downloaded it. It's you know, it's awful. They're like Earthworm Jim 3D. Yeah, most people forget that exists. Well, I mean, that's like again, this is back before dual sticks was a thing. Yeah, Earthworm Jim was on 3D. Was on the 64. You had the C buttons. The C buttons. Oh, the C buttons. 64, one of the worst controllers in history. Oh, it was good I loved time. it at the time, yeah. Yeah, me too. Then I go back and try to use one now, and I'm like, why? It's the dual stick thing, is just ingrained. Yeah. Like, I just, you know, I need to be able to, you know, be changing my perception of the state of the world, and also, you know, ah. my movement within it at the Skeletor. same time. I mean, Nintendo got around it by having a really, really good automatic camera system, and you could shove the camera about, you know, in simple ways, but service. Yeah, they're like, people complain about Mario 64 camera, but fuck, did you try to play some of those early PS1 fucking ones? Holy shit. Most of them, like a lot of the earliest ones weren't even 3D. Like you had things like um, Pandemonium, which yeah. were just a 2D platformer with 3D graphics. Like 2.5, basically. 2.5! Every one of these, huh. What's to gain from pushing them around? Don't uh, fart on me, you little fucking mushroom. so you can't get trapped in a corner. Uh, so yeah, if they if you knock one down, you can push it out of the way, get out of the corner. It's really actually quite innovative, I think. I'm really glad that- did you just drop your weapon or some shit? No, they fucking stunned me. Ah, someone's constantly chucking boomerangs at you. Yeah, I've- Oh, holy I'm, I'm shit. I'm locked here. There you go. Ah, the spear! Spear of destiny! Like fucking Goldberg. Is, is that like that much better than your sword? It does one more damage at the moment. <laughs> Like, when I get up to the blacksmith, he'll make the sword better. Oh, they're guarding a chest. Hey yeah, I love how they Stab. wake up, just like, ah! I think that guy didn't wake up. <laughs> Imagine if you were getting murdered and I was just yelling, you look over, I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Dreaming about fucking donuts or whatever the fuck. Speaking of donuts, we were at, when we were at the mall earlier, we saw a fucking Garana donut ad, and that really, <laughs> like, it was like a cinnamon donut just covered <laughs> just in green Garana, and it's like, what? <laughs> That like, can't who's be that nice. for? Yeah, the enormous fucking gym Chad with his fucking mother no. and shit. No! Bad! Oh, it was about to fucking... Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Suck it! Uh, Suck my dick! Piss on your grave, but you don't even get to be buried, slime. Slimes freak me out. If I go to Japan, I see slimes, I'm out. Because I was always way more of a fucking Chrono Trigger fan. I love Corona Trigger too. I just, I love the, I really love the art style and the music in this. Music's good. I didn't, things like that bothered me. You know, where, where you just it's, sat there doing nothing? Well, no, just where it's technically an action game where you have to like make contact, you know? But you can, magic just gets you. You know, like, there's just no. little, little details it's, like that that just sort of bothered oh, me. Yeah, nah. That's amazing. No, no, no. Experience. Get out. This game was also quite revolutionary because sweet, juicy slime experience. you could play three players. That was huge, yeah. 
if you had a multi-tap and friends. Dude, like... Stop rubbing your I can't privilege. believe that, you know, PS1 had a multi-tap. And then the PS2, again, had a multi-tap. It's like... Can you just... Nintendo 64. Four fucking, four control fucking controllers. That was so big. Because, like, man, four player No Mercy or four player, like, WrestleMania 2000 and four player fucking. Four player nearly everything, yeah. dude. There was like, so the much. like, fucking. We, like, I can't describe the amount of time I've spent high at a friend's place. And because we were all wrestling fans, so we'd play, like, you know, fucking WCW versus NWO World Tour. Oh, no, Revenge. Because Revenge was the updated one. And just. You play, like, Battle Royale, where every time you get thrown out. You're gone, but then you wait like a turn, and the next guy that comes in, you get to control. So you start out picking like, oh, I'm gonna be fucking Kevin Nash, or I'm gonna be Goldberg. You start with the characters you want. Yeah. And then you've working your way through them, and then you start getting down to the weird ones that like Akai had made themselves, or the ones that were like <laughs> technically based on like Japanese, you know, all Japan wrestlers and shit. Like, you just be like, oh, all right, I've you know, I'm losing. And you lose, and it's like, out comes who, and it's like. There was one guy who's like Polish or some shit because his last name is Zabiskio and it's spelled with like more Zs than you'd think. And like, we didn't know how to pronounce that. So we just called him Zed Biscuit. And he was like, kind of like one of the worst characters to get stuck with in Battle Royale because he was shitty and he didn't have like, you know, a good finisher or anything cool. Just Addy comes, he's like, what is it? Zed Biscuit, ah, you fucking roll the fucking dice and get Zed Biscuit. And then there was a fat guy called Jekyll, who was just had this really funny nuggety little face. I do love that. I love that about like created characters just with stupid names. And... Yeah. Well, you... I mean, like the WCW games didn't have creator wrestler, so they just sort of had you know they had all the WCW characters, and then they just had a bunch of like quasi randos who were sort of technically based on like foreign wrestlers and shit. Yes. But, like they didn't have the rights to them or anything. Temper my sword. Imagine if hitting your dick with a hammer gave you a better dick. Try that at home, YouTube comment audience. And Let me know if it works. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me in the comments. I'll, I promise you, I'll respond. <laughs> if you hit yourself in the dick with a hammer. Uh, this is always I, I. It's always weird to me when I like watch things on YouTube and it always ends the person going, "Tell me what you think in the comments," because it's like you don't care. Nobody cares. YouTube comments. It's just engagement. Like I know, like, that's the thing. It's, 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 to me, it's very cynical. Like, hey, talk to me because you're a lunatic on the internet who desperately needs to be heard. I literally only want to hear from you if you hit yourself in the dick with a hammer. I, yeah, I, can you film it, please? Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, I need it's, it. it's going to require evidence. It's going to be like, need to be like time stamped so I know you're not just using a photo of you hitting yourself like, in the dick with a hammer get from some earlier. gold so it can be like, like in Majora's Mask when you yeah. have like. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, you know, you're not just, you're not just hitting raw dick. You're putting like, you want to wrap it in a, a aluminium foil yeah. and then fucking hammer the aluminium into it. Yeah. Chicks love it. It gives it a, it gives it a kind of chrome sheen. You can sheen. have the fucking. Very European. Gilded shaft. Yeah. You know. My axe done yet, faggot. I mean, if life's taught me anything, it's women like shiny I shit. I didn't come back later. I went and slept. You're a dick. Went and slept. You gotta probably talk to a dude or do it. I gotta thing. do the Sprite. Sprite's <laughs> up here trying to steal your fucking money. Get out of my way! That's something that this did well, was you could push NPCs out of the way. Shove so many other games are just like, the NPC just yeah. looks at you with its dead fucking unblinking eyes, just standing in the fucking way. I want a power wrist. I want a spiky suit. Fucking know, this is pretty expensive. I'm gonna get some headgear. Um. No, we don't buy more. Get out of there! Are you seeing you? I will, thank you. Where's my headgear? My quip! Headgear. Fuck yeah. Got the defense rolling. Now they won't stop me. These dwarves just look like little toddlers. <laughs> Much like regular dwarves. Yeah. Just hairier. <laughs> Alright, where are you, sprite child? If you don't love me at my best, you don't deserve me. If you don't love me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. That meme's going around again, but I just always wanted to see it over, like, you know, one of the regular state issue domestic violence posters. You know, just a woman cowering in a kitchen with a black eye. And just... <laughs> That's such a deranged thing to say. I'd never say it to anybody. 
I don't expect anybody to deal with my worst. My worst is fucking awful. My worst is when I couldn't poop. <laughs> that's a, that's that's not a very bad worst to have. Take one rabbi, one man, and it's rabbi man. <laughs> fucking little shit. Why does it have a fifty grand debt? What did it Loves do? Loves the ponies. <laughs> nah, greyhounds. So you give it some money. And the dwarves it, don't have horses. They ride greyhounds. And then it fucking turns into a big thing and fucks off with your money. Can't. I will kill you. Sprite. Little forest turd. I wasn't crying. Fuck you. I didn't cheat at cricket. Oi. 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 Yeah, that's right. You do your surprise reaction. Harumph. This is like every like fake Twitch beg for money, like but like twenty years earlier, Secret of Mana fucking <laughs> called it like, I've got cancer, I need money. <laughs> it's funny to me because like you know you and I actually need surgery, but like we live in a civilized country, so I don't have to beg a, make a popularity contest out of getting me fixed. Yeah, because like if we lived <laughs> in America, we'd just die. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'd have, you know, my, my mum would be dead. And, you know her fucking you know. Her, it's funny because my mum's like used to go on forums and shit for people with focal and segmental glomerular sclerosis, and there'd be like Americans in there going on about shit and like it's just like you know, oh yeah, you can't afford your medication because it's like thousands of dollars a month. Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah every like one of these needs to be killed for every pineapple that we get. Like this is why pineapples are so pricey. Are you not able to hit the fucking stalagmites or some shit? Like, can you not get down there and hit it? Like, isn't that the point? I don't know. I'm pretty sure, like, just go around. Like, no. Ah, yes. Kill that thing. Fuck that thing in the butthole. Why is it throwing pumpkin bombs at you? I don't know, but they're homing. They're really Alright, you know, like, okay, you can hit him there. You have to, you have to be able to hit him through that. Da -na -na -na, I'm Gabriel! Had sex in the double digits. Just look that up. This guy's a dick. Uh, Surrounding yourself with like protective fucking ground lumps is ah oh, you wang. Ah, oh, you only did two. Wang uh, chung. Two. You gotta wait a second. You gotta wait. I'm I'm not a waiting person. Yeah, neither am I. But like, you know, playing Zangi for the moment's trying to turn me into one. I am going to chop you in your spiky ball. They've given Zangief the most pointless novelty buff in fucking and like it's a buff, I would, but I it's really cool the buff. I don't. Well, I mean, it's an addition, you <laughs> yeah, know. Is the fucking thing. Up. Is that's what I'm stuck with. It's like sticking a spoiler on your shitty Datsun. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah, you've <laughs> added something to the car. Yeah, it's like just Zangief has a spoiler on him now, because he can combo out of like neutral jump headbutt into pile into EX pile driver, which is just not optimal in <laughs> most situations, because <laughs> it's spending spending meter to get like just. You know, a, a bit more damage. And like, you, if I mean, if you've got like his V trigger on, even, but that's the problem is like, if you combo with it, the damage is severely fucking nerfed. So it's like, you know, I'd that's rather just, boy. yeah, if, if I get like a crush counter hard kick that gives you a float, I'd rather just fucking give him a hard headbutt. Fuck yeah. me. I hate those pumpkin bombs, dude. Hello, I'm the death. I love that death. That's a big a issue death. with this game for me is it's action based, but like, no trace of Aaron was. I love out. that. Fucking I do love that old games were just like game over. Fuck you. <laughs> you know. Oh, what happens? Do I get like a? You know? Can I push continue? No. Fuck no. you. It goes out to the fucking start of the game. It tells you that nobody ever found your stupid corpse and nobody loves you. Game over. Nobody loves you. <laughs> game over. You game touch over. yourself at night. Yeah. Game over. You're going to the formal by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you're going with your good mate Dave. Yeah. It's not gay, it's, it's just, you it's know... stag. It's just, you're not going by yourself. Going it's by better yourself. than going by yourself. Shut up! I took acid and painted myself gold. That's not a joke. Like... The thing was, I'd specifically... How, how, like, how much did you paint of yourself gold? On my whole face and arms. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there no photo evidence of this? Damn you early There's, fucking time. Yeah. <laughs> I know! There is... There's like photos of it somewhere, but like, 
I mean, you know, like, because it's funny because the school explicitly said, don't be high at the formal. <laughs> and so... That's an invitation to be high. Well, I mean, for someone like me, who is like, at least on weed all the time, for a special occasion, it's bust out the acid. Mm. So I bought like, I got like two tabs and like one was, one of them was for before and one of them was for the after party. And because they'd explicitly said like, don't be high. Um, I had to spend the entire fucking dinner trying not to look really oh, high. Oh, that's so hard. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, it depends on the kind of fucking trip you're having, because sometimes you get, like, cerebral trips where it's just, like, your brain is just working. You're not seeing, like, fucking shit, and oh, yeah. you're not, like, thinking, you know, you're not trying to pat, like, a cactus and stuff. <laughs> like, it's just, your brain's on fucking fire. It's great. Like, I kind of, like, because that's what the fucking, you know... Yeah, Silicon Valley type these dickbag types, you know, sort of go on about um, with micro dosing. You know, they take very, very, very teensy weensy quantities of um, acid and just, you know, just like fucking make some like clever for the day. And like that's the kind of thing I might get into when I'm fucking like older. You know, when I'm like, quite old, just very small, minute doses of like acid and MDMA. Just to make the last like ten years a fucking just a, a pleasant place, you know. Because I see like the old people who just drink a lot, and that looks like a bummer. That's, I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's fucking awful. Alcohol's terrible. Yeah, uh, it's just depressing. You know, I don't want to sit around and be sad. I want to like fucking take rad modern future drugs and go bother. Yeah. The <laughs> fucking. Take fucking. To heal yourself. I'll have, like, whatever version of weed Seth Rogen has at the time. It's literally growing on Seth Rogen. <laughs> it's like his back hair is now... Hey! That's bullshit. That's fucking... I fucking hate you and your <laughs> homing pumpkins. <laughs> Cut, man. That's bullshit. Like... Now this thing's gonna get me. Watch it. Yep. You need some, like, moments of invincibility. Cause that's the thing, like, for a game that's predicated around action, the hit and hurt boxes are not fucking very precise. Like, you know... You have to accept that if you're adding a, a skill element to it... Suck it, fucking tropical faggot! <laughs> that's the big- that's what happens when the big pineapple hatches. This is what happens if you go to Upper North Queensland. You don't go to Upper North Queensland. No, you don't. Like, you'll be attacked by pineapple monsters. You'll be trapped, not unlike the Junji Ito comic Spiral, and then you'll just become like them. And then in about five years, you'll be voting national, wearing an Akubra, and just swearing. Way to go.